Hello, Gills. Yeah, look at this social distance party. For real. We have this EP. On it, we have Bad Karma, Dandelion, and Special, which are kind of all about this time period in my life where a lot was falling apart. I was dealing with a lot. A lot was coming at me. You guys were there for it, a very chaotic, stressful time in my life. But something else happened in that time that was dope, which was I fell in love. <gasps> It was like weirdly a very challenging time in my life, but one of the most like special magical times in my life as well. So since this body of work is kind of a time capsule of that time, I didn't want to leave that element out of it as a reminder to myself and then also to everybody else that like, yes, there was a lot of chaos, but then something beautiful did come from that. So I really want to write a love song. <laughs> and as you guys know, I usually like to write some shit before we get together. I have nothing. I have ideas. Tell us what you got, even if it's like a lie. I wanted to capture just the fact that like he came into my life when I wasn't expecting him. I wasn't looking for him. I wasn't asking for him. My whole thing with my relationship with him was I was so resistant to it. And I tried so many times to be like, I'm not ready for this. I don't want this. After our second date, he asked me on a third and I was like, oh, third date, you're expecting to kiss, like whatever. And I kept pushing it away, but he was just so patient and persistent. We met like on August 21st. Our first kiss was October like 8th or something. You know what I mean? Maybe a song about not wanting a relationship, but this is too much of a good opportunity to pass up. The beginning's gotta be so like, I did not want this like at all. Like, yeah. you know, I swore myself off from people. He came into my life at the perfect moment. It's just f***ing annoying that like all the cliches are true. They say when you're not looking, that's when you'll find love. And maybe that's the concept of the song. You opened my eyes to the fact that all the dumb bullshit that I've told myself is fake. My whole life is all true. Chaotic, I'm they say that you'll find it when you least expect it, but I think that's bullshit. My life's too unsteady, so I'm just not ready. I'm sorry. It's something. I love it. Cute. You proved them all right. You proved them right. You proved me wrong. Kind of thing. Oh, that's cool. I like that melody though for like at the end of a pre. Uh, I used to worry about like me, myself, and I, but now I'm worrying for two. Ooh. Okay. Pregnant. <laughs> There's a part of me that feels that if all of this negative shit wouldn't have happened in my life, would it have made me like fall in love with him so hard so quickly? You know what I mean? He was like my silver lining kind of thing. That was cute too. In the storm, he was the silver lining kind of thing. Oh, that's cool. That's beautiful. I think that's great. Oh, beautiful. Perfect timing. Oh God, what if we put rain in the song? <laughs> that's, that's what I'm trying to, oh, the sound effect? Yeah. When you came around, it was pouring down and I almost drowned you at perfect timing. The rain pouring down a drain. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> okay, Queen, let's keep playing with this one for a little bit and see if we find it. And if we don't, then maybe let's start toying with something else. Because this is obviously beautiful. The melody is beautiful. I think that there's nice imagery and metaphor here, but it doesn't quite feel authentic to me yet. It just feels like you're not connecting with it, lyrically especially. Yeah. And it just doesn't seem to be hitting for you lyrically, right? Lyrically or melodically, to be honest. It just doesn't make me excited. It's a good song and it feels like something that if I was writing songs for other artists like I'd be like proud to pitch this song. It doesn't make me feel like I'm saying something that hasn't been said before in some way. You know you can't have flowers without the rain or April showers bring May flowers like shit like that. Yeah it all just feels like a little bit too generic to me. I feel like it's not capturing how much he means to me. Mm. I guess. No that makes sense. You kind of want to express your total truth. So while I was talking with and cuddling with Peyton and I was telling him my struggle in writing a song and I said it's hard to encompass what I feel about you in words and I'm not good about at writing about things that make me happy. I'm good about writing things that make me sad and I'm just too happy. And then I was like, 
I should write a song about being too happy. <laughs> I'm too happy, happy, happy. How I'm could I? Happy. That's cute. Yeah. Wait, go ahead more, more, more. I'm so happy. I'm way too, way too, way too fucking happy with you. I'm so happy. Way too, way too, way too fucking happy. To write a song and then I'm gonna sadly. Oh, that's cool. Because, like, yeah. you get in sadly, I can't, yeah. like, write a song. Cause, like, but yeah. Sadly, yeah. I yeah. About now I'm excited. Now I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is clever. <laughs> this is interesting. I think that we can kind of structure, like, what I'm trying to say around the lines of all this stuff is weighing me down, but how could I possibly sad when I have you? I'm too happy like oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun this is fun i like this way too way too way too fucking happy do you know never shout never oh bitch are you kidding me it's very like that vibe it's almost like it was written to not be recorded yeah absolutely you know what i mean like, like this is a song you sing in your car when you're actually happy yeah i think using the word unhappy is cool unhappy i like that you said sadly I think that the word sappy, the thing that I have such trouble with, with love songs is like the corniness of it. <laughs> this is leaning into the corniness of it. Hi. Basically, you kind of use one phone as a microphone and okay. then you use another phone as playback. The one you use as playback, you know, you just have to wear headphones. I'll have you sing and then I'll be like, okay, I really like that take. And then you just mark it down like verse one, take one. I was going to not hold it so that it was consistent. Do you want me to hold it? So you're going to have it like on an arm of a couch, like the way I have yeah. it right now. Wait, I'm so going to unbutton my pants. Do it. Okay. To breathe. You ready? Yep. I always found my comfort in the chaos. Really good. S save that. Okay. I'm going to try to hear you do it even like a touch softer. Just okay. Just like 10% to softer. Make yeah. that a little bit like brighter that my... In my... Like a little bit like more air, a little bit more up front. I've always found my comfort in the chaos. I see the beauty in my pain. Good, you saved that one. I've always found my comfort in the chaos. I see the beauty in my pain. Now I'm stuck searching for new inspiration. Oops, I'm gonna delete that whole take. That was really good though. <laughs> Damn, I, I just deleted it. <laughs> okay, you sent the first bounce of it, like what it'll sound like? Yes. Okay. I think it sounds cool. Half of me is like, yeah, this is interesting and innovative. And then the part that's like the engineer and the producer is like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm scared. No, I think it's kind of cool. First of all, it doesn't sound not clear. It doesn't sound low quality. It sounds like it's supposed to sound this way. It sounds yeah, small. Yeah, it sounds like weird. Like it's on purpose yeah. made to sound this way. Yeah. I think it's cool. I say we move forward. All right, let's do it. I'm, I'm so in. scared. <laughs> no, I'm in. Do you feel like you need more of that? No, I think that was good. I was going to suggest do second verse over that okay. same like, beginning part. Yeah. It would be easy. Okay. I wasn't looking for you still. You found me. But this explosion feels too great. I'm too happy. I really like that take. Yeah, I like that one too. Okay. <laughs> This was such a process. So we stopped filming at one point because I put in all my vocals for the song and then I heard it back and I wanted to make some changes. So I changed the melody a bit on the chorus, which means we had to redo the chorus. And then I rewrote the last chorus to say something new. I tweaked a bit on the verses and also had to do vocal fills. So it was, guys, for real, such a process, but so rewarding and such a unique experience and so very cool. I wanted to write one more song for the EP. The EP is only happening in the first place because of the situation we're in. So this is my silver lining, not my boyfriend who I love very much and is much, much more than that. <laughs> 
that is the making of this song. I'm gonna show you a clip of the reaction. I played it for him after I tweaked the melody on the hook and after I finessed the verses a little bit. I'm really, really happy with it and he loves it and that was kind of the purpose. So it feels really good to wrap up this chapter, to wrap up this EP, to wrap up this period of my life with the best thing to come of it, which was this. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Thank you to everybody who's stuck by me since the beginning. Thank you to everybody who's hopped on somewhere along the way. I really, really appreciate you all. Bad Karma, the EP, is out right now. So you can grab Happy, this song, and the whole EP right now. So enjoy this little clip of my boyfriend reacting to the song for the first time. I'm going to post the entire clip of this on Patreon. If you're interested, it's patreon.com slash Hanna. Enjoy the song, download it. Thank you <laughs> for being a part of this journey, like I said. Hey, this is this week's showstopper of the week. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. You're absolutely perfect. And uh, these are all my patrons. Well, the top two tiers of my patrons, the peach pies and the peaches and cream. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. The community feels so strong and special and tight. And I'm so f***ing grateful for you guys. And I've been having so much fun getting to know you. Thank you so much for being a part of my family. I love you and I'll see you next time. If you had to guess what my love song for you sounded like, how do you think it would sound? Uh, I don't know. It's me. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a normal love song. Right. Hmm. This is just a demo. It was recorded 100% on iPhones. I see the beauty in my pain. Now I'm stuck searching for new inspiration. Since you made your way in my brain, I am too.